Larry gave him a pulse and together him and that team have made a heartbeat at New Mexico State. Last year, there was only eight All-Americans that were not from a power conference school. Eight in the whole nation. I mean, that, that's a remarkable uh, you know, accomplishment for Larry. There hadn't been one AP All-American here at New Mexico State since the 1970s. You know, Larry has a lot of those things that you see the great ones have. Larry's the best running back I've ever blocked for it. High school, junior college, right now, he's just the best back, hands down. He's ambitious and just his work ethic and he's humble. He performed. He lead by example, so that's why I get from him. Whenever your best player is a good person, good things usually happen. And um, to me, that's what is so unique about Larry Rose III. Larry Rose III is confident, but also humble. A fan favorite and a favorite among his teammates, Rose was named one of the team captains for the 2016 season. Nobody walks around saying, wow, there's our first All-American since 1975. I mean, he doesn't bring that to the table, if you will. He doesn't walk around with that air about him, like I'm something special. Coach, treat me different than everybody else. Um, he grinds like everybody else grinds. You know, people are always kind of looking at him saying, can I be as good as him? Does, do I have what it takes? But for him to have to show up every day, with that, carrying that mantle that, you know, he cannot, ha he can't have a bad day. He can't take a lazy step because he knows everybody's watching him. Unbelievably selfless as well, you know, to not really be concerned about yardage and touchdowns, uh, but more team victories and, and getting us to advance into, to a bowl game. You know, what he has just contributed to them, he hasn't done on his own um, because, you know, you can't break records and you can't get yards if the line don't block for you, so he definitely is not a one-man show. He also wants to prove people right about his team and his teammates. He's always talking about those, you know, about his friends and about getting them exposure. He's so focused on the team instead of himself. I think that's really where his motivation comes from. If I'm the guy that's, that gets the call to, you know, be the savior, then I'm up, I'm up and I'm ready for it. You know, I'm ready to go to bat. I'm ready to, to help do what I got to do to pull the team through. I like the underdog, underdog status, you know. Uh, I like when people say you can't and you can't. It's just being able to put your name in the same conversation as, as other people that you consider great, you know, because uh, just because I play college ball, I still look up to, you know, Leonard Fournette, um, the McCaffreys and stuff like that. So uh, when, you, when it goes from, man, uh, those guys are good to, People saying, man, you're just like those guys. It's just the change in conversation is just uh, mind blowing. Every time I step on the field, um, I just want people to know that, that I'm a game changer. A game changer who's now an All-American, all because a coaching staff and a program gave him a chance when no one else would. You love it when a kid is appreciative of the chance they've been given and uh, the give back. And I think Larry will be one of those guys who'll give back to New Mexico State the rest of his life. And he kind of epitomizes our whole program as well, not just recruiting, but who we want to be right now. Coach Martin takes that approach as well. Healthy chip on your shoulder. Um, Larry is that. He's a sustained, great player that no one else wanted to believe in. More to come on the story of Larry Rose III, AP All-American, after this.